Hey guys, Robbie with you. You wanted to ever see what Morgan looks like in the UFC ring? We are about ready to find out. Did this about a couple of years ago when the game kind of came out. I don't know if it's been since, but here we go. Coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. This is tribal. There is no doubt this young woman is preparing to unleash some devastating kicks on her opponent tonight. The kicks are really what jumps off the film. Brutally fast, equally powerful, and she does major fight-changing damage just by landing one or two. One leg kick can have you limping the rest of the way. One body kick, and you're covering up the rest of the fight. Scary, scary kicker. It is all about the power for this young woman. This girl has ridiculous stamina. The ability to push a pace that her opponent can't keep up with is one of her strongest assets. Her cardio is off the charts. Well, they are all still chasing Amanda Nunes at 135 pounds. She has become a most dominant champion in this division. She has a number of big wins to her credit already. And her focus here tonight is to continue this reign of dominance. The Chris Cyborg fight is on the back burner. She says, I'm a bantamweight, and that is the task at hand in front of me tonight. This girl has a ridiculous chin. And a chin like hers is such an amazing asset to have. She can take shots, she has massive confidence in her ability to take shots, and she stays in the pocket and lands big bombs with her counter strikes. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters 29 years of age. Nunes will have a six inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center, in Houston, Texas! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC back to weight division. It's an easy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making her professional debut here tonight. She stands five feet two inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Morgan. And now the news of your opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, having professional record on. 17 wins, four losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Amanda, the Lioness, You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Who do you think is going to win this one, Amanda or Morgan? You ready to fight? Ready. We are underway. Well, they're going to win. I did make Morgan right in kind of the game hurt. came out. Kind of is like one of the demo at trial he came out there. for this game. And as I have this at the real time because I wanted this to actually be kind of a, uh, you know, Opens with the not just a quickie round. round. I actually want this to be like, there might be plans to do it in Morgan's career mode. But again, I... I don't think I'm good at this game enough to really consider that. If there was a way to do CPU, I would She's love that. You can tell me that if there was a way to do it. Or if you would love to maybe just see me fail around with it, I don't know. That one. I would just love to see, you know, I think it'd be really cool to have Morgan in the AFC ring as much as we have her in the WWE game. Doesn't connect here with the Superman punch. 
And again, I know we're the champ Nunez, but I mean, hey, I mean, I was gonna work in the best, you know. It was a little test, and I would love it, UFC 4, to well, let you make a purple gear. Come on. I know it doesn't look like Morgan Rose to be as I do in the WWE. I know that. I know. It's not going to look exactly the same. They're not the same company. They're not that. So don't expect it to look exactly the same. And I did make Morgan Rose in this because we're getting the base. And I just, you know, wanted to kind of have it as like, you know, he wanted to sell off Morgan and it looks like see what for a submission. Let's see if she can have it here. That Ooh, choke is deep. Getting tighter. Oh, Get in the corner. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good match, huh? For Morgan, Great job you, in getting this fight you know, to the ground quickly and getting an early and submission. And if you want to see more, do yeah, know, like the video on her stuff. She did not waste um, a lot just of let me know. She knew she to and I'm hopeful to the maybe we can get this before, which I'm thinking about over, getting. So when it does get announced early in round one. Maybe we can customize the octagon, and maybe do a candy and the neighbor. I know I could have fired protein for a step. I know I have plenty of it. But I really will love to be able to do stuff like this. And one more time, you know, nice to Sorry for talking over this, guys. I just wanted to kind of get this match out the door. And I wanted to kind of at least talk to her in this part and everything. And, so there and she is, so, your winner by way of submission. That's a finish they'll be talking about yeah. for some time. Well, they would when we eat the champ, but. And that we just goes the purple the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at one minute, 34 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a reverse triangle, Morgan! So there she is following what could be argued as the biggest win of her career. She gets it done by submission here tonight. She told us during Fight Week, Joe, I gotta keep the judges out of it. She certainly did just that. Now all that's left to do is to celebrate with her coaches and her training partners. She had a lot of friends and family in the building here tonight. And man, did she put on a show for them and maximize this UFC showcase. Congratulations. Yeah, well, I mean, you, yeah, well, again, Morgan is from Fort Worth and lives there. And so being able to Houston have that night, that'd be real cool. That's why I kind of put that there, too. So if you do want to see more Morgan as MMA, do let me know. Um, maybe I can make her in UFC 4 if they have too many races and you guys can ha have fun with her and everything. Again, this is all legal. Licensed by Morgan herself, and again, I will put her link in the description below this video. And I just am now uploading that title match between Buffy and Anne. That just I just did that one before doing this one because Buffy hit her donation goal for um, the Trevor Project narrowing and earned that title match because we do that with TND. If you do charity stream and hit your goal, you get a title match. You get whoever title you want, all kind of stuff. So, you know, that's there. So, um, if you want to see that match, here's the previous video to this one. I would imagine. This one is going to be probably... And that's going to take too long to upload and everything. Um, so, if you want to see more of this, do let me know. And maybe I can do more Morgan in the UFC. If you want to... Okay, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like and all kind of good stuff. If you want to see more, hit that sub button and hit the bell to get notified when I do make this content and everything. And I'll say goodnight or whatever and enjoy your day, everybody. Night, y'all.